Gen 7 Hawaii Pokemon design video. This game was a lot of fun. Definitely did some interesting stuff. When I look at the Pokemon designs in general, I'm reminded of a couple things. A, a lot of these designs are hilarious. <laughs> B, man, I feel like half the Pokemon I enjoyed were like heavy hitting slow as, as mud Pokemon. See, there's there's just too many legendaries. There's just way too many legendaries. There's a whole bunch of legendaries and an entire different thing that was like, I don't know if they were considered legendary, but I think they were like one of a kind catchable. They seem legendary to me. I, I was annoyed with them as they were legendary Pokemon. So, uh, kind of a, kind of an odd list to choose from. So, best uh, first of all, Instant Aurora. Fire Cat Pro Wrestler. Just spot on wrestling themed special move. Of course, I like this animal. Or this Pokemon. I hear this became like a mainstay of competitive play somewhere, and I have no idea how that happened or why, but uh, didn't know it was coming. Picked the fire one, turned into a wrestler, and I was like, yes, this was great. Great. Hilarious. Number two, Charger Bug. It's uh it's a little it's a little bug, but it's also the the cube that you put in to charge your phone. That was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Uh I did eventually evolve that thing into a pretty powerful electric Pokemon. It was a good thing it didn't have weakness to ground and levitated because it was pretty slow, so it, it, it was a little, little bit of a limited-use Pokemon, but definitely hit like a cannon. Three, Araquinid? 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 A uh, B-movie, 50s B-movie sci-fi uh, walker that's also a, a water bug. That was a pretty cool design. There have been water bugs before, but nothing that looked like as sci-fi as, as this. I really enjoyed that. I did actually use that a little bit. I don't think it was good enough to go to Delete 4, but it was pretty funny. 4. Beware. Um, Pokemon I was a little nervous about facing. Uh, I don't remember if somebody in Elite 4 had it. It is hilarious to drive past it in the next generation in the open field, because it's just this giant, like, ridiculous anime joke thing running at you. Beware's, beware's design is, is funny to me. Five is Golisopod. Um, I enjoyed this one. The mechanic wasn't as annoying to me as it could have been. I could definitely see it, how this could have gone a more annoying fashion. It has gone a more annoying fashion in certain Pokemon, but I like Golisopod. It was like, uh, reminded me of the Wolverine character. And then of course, you know, it was lim it, it had a it had a weakness with the whole, uh, not wanting to be in when it's less than 50% health, but um, I enjoyed it. Six, Palisand, a haunted sand castle. Grade A Pokemon creation. Thank you, person that created haunted sand castle. Seven, Lorantis. There have been a few praying mantis Pokemon, and this, I think, was the best looking one. A little more, more exotic than just green praying mantis. It was pretty cool. I think I used a different grass Pokemon in my playthrough, but Lorantis was was a cool one. That grass Pokemon's not on this list, but Lorantis was a cool one. Eight, I got Shinodic. Uh, there's just something about its design that is funny to me, especially in motion, just with the giant giant head, and and uh, the fairy grass typing was also an interesting one. Nine, I got Mimikyu. I don't, I don't know if this counts as a Pikachu knockoff. I don't think so, because I think there's a different Pikachu knockoff in this game. But the fact that it was a ghost pretending to be Pikachu and the art design of it all looked... It, it was it was clever. And I think the, the game surrounded that Pokemon with a, a little bit of a event that helped out. The last one I got is Gumshoes, just because it's, it's just ridiculous. Like, this is your Rattata of this game, and it turns into a detective pun. Some people were joking that it turned into Donald Trump, but no, it's it's definitely a detective pun. It, it, yeah, this this game had some weird, silly, hilarious Pokemon designs, and I was 
very appreciative of this. We also have some designs that I didn't like so much. Uh, for the worst list, two cannon is just a toko two can with a little bit of a little bit of some make it up stuff on its beak. Um, a woodpecker does not just turn into a two can. That makes no no sense from a zoological standpoint. I thought that it felt like two cannon should have been. A standalone Pokemon and the woodpecker thing should have turned into something else. That's what it felt like to me. It felt like two things were smushed together in a way that didn't make sense. Uh, number two, Salazzle, the sexy lizard Pokemon. <laughs> Poison Fire is an interesting typing. I appreciate it, they did, but I think the fact that a fe only female could evolve and the fact that the end result wasn't that great. But this is the overall, like, this is a seductive lizard Pokemon. I was like, nah, I'm out on, I'm out on Salazzle. Uh, type Null, I wasn't a huge fan of. I don't know why, but something about it, I just, I don't know. It seemed like, it seemed like, it just, I know maybe the point of it was that, was that it didn't have coherent art design, but... It just seemed like too many things going on at once, and I never really, I just never really was into it. And then um, all the space Pokemon, like all all the alien ones from a different dimension, the beasts. I don't I don't remember the official name, but I just wasn't a fan. They were so weird, and the beast boosting, and they looked like characters from a different video game series. It was like too much. Just too much. And they contributed to the feeling that there was too many legendaries. So I wasn't a fan of like any of them, but the two ones I thought... I'm debating. I'm, I'll just do the two. The two ones I thought were like the most not Pokemon ones were Buzzswole and Guzzlord. It was just like, nah, this is... This is too much. I can't handle this. Those are my, those are my best and the worst. There was a goofy designed generation with some hilarious ones and some very creative ones and also some where it's like, well, you swung and you missed, but I appreciate the fact that you swung.